All right, so I just wanted to do a quick video to show you all how I install the Faithful Journey RV Services Generator Auto Start Stop Box. This is a box that I designed, um, I've been building, and I've been selling on my website. And I'll post a link uh, in the description down below so you can order yours today. But I just wanted to show you quick how I install it in a Victron system that I've been installing on this 2023 Thor Gemini 23TE. Um, there are several ways to connect it to the generator. I just want to show you how I install it on uh, this rig because this has a, a BM Pro system, so it has the touchscreen. And this is a, I've done a few of these before, and there's one little quirk that I do um, to make the system function, otherwise, it panics and the BM Pro goes, ah! So I just want to show you how I install it on this rig and what I've done to get it so it plays nicely with BM Pro. So let's get inside and we'll get the system wired up and we'll go through it. All right, so this is the system I've been installing. We've got our inverter, we've got solar charge controllers, we've got DC to DC charging, uh, we've got batteries over here, we've got our Servo GX, and then we have the Faithful Journey uh, generator auto start stop box here front and center. So let's go ahead and start by opening this up. So inside the box, when you, so once you take the cover off, you can see there are there's a breaker and several relays. When you buy this box, it comes with these little short little pigtails that are pre-labeled of where the wire needs to connect to. And there's seven wires. So you got your positive, you've got your generator start, your generator stop, you've got your uh, system negative, you've got your servo common wire, and then you've got your servo NC, and then your servo NO wire. And so what you do is you make a little hole in the side of the box here, and I've pre-ran a bunch of the wires. Um, so these are the wires I've pre-ran, and I've also got a bunch of pre pre uh, wires that are pre-cut. So because I've pre-ran them, I know which wire does what. So this here is connects to my system, so are the system positive and the system negative is what these thicker gauge wires does. And this here I am, is going to connect back to the BM Pro for the generator start. I'm going to use the red for start and I'm going to use black for stop. For the generator start and the stop wires, they can be any color you like. Just know which one you plan to use for which function. And likewise for the, the servo wires, I had three different color wires. I'm going to use one for start, one for, uh, or for one for the NC, one for NO, and one for the common that are going to connect to the Servo GX. The Servo GX, you need the little relay uh, connector that comes with the Servo GX, and then that connects into the bottom. One of the things that I use is I use these 18 millimeter length ferrule pins, which play nicely with the connector. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get we're going to start stripping some of these wires and running them and connecting them into the box. So let's go ahead and start with our positive and our negative. So I'm just going to feed them through the little hole that I made. And then I've got a really nice little stripper here that basically we're just going to take a bunch off the end. Just like that. Now for the installation, I buy and I use these Wago connectors, which make it very easy. When you order my box for my website, you have the option of adding these little Wago connectors, which ease in the aid of installation. So basically it slips in and then you clip it closed and then you take the other wire that slips in and you clip it closed and now you've made your connection. All right, let's keep going. So this is what I'm doing now, the black wire, which I know is for the, for the negative. So again, strip them, get a wago, put them in, and now fairly easy to do. So these are gonna connect to my generator start and my generator stop in the back. So let me feed these through the hole as well. All right, so obviously these are way longer than what I need because they're gonna connect right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and snip these a bit shorter. So snip them 
And again, strip the ends. And then I can strip the ends of my wire. Oh. All right. So because I ran the wires in my brain, I know which wire I'm going to use for which function. So I'm going to use the red for the generator start to send the generator start signal. So in my box, that's the orange wire labeled generator start. So connect that to the red wire, which I have run back to the BM Pro. And you'll see that here in a little bit. And so this will now send a start signal to the red wire. And then we do the same thing with the black is going to be sending the stop which connects to the yellow wire in my box which is labeled stop and those two are together all right so that is three of the or four of the seven wires that need to be done so the last thing we need to do is the wires for the servo gx so i'm going to use red or i'm going to use blue yellow and green so we're going to go ahead and just start by stripping the ends off of here. And actually, actually, let me run these through the box first. Should have done that first. Oh, well. All right. So I got my three wires in my box. Now I need to strip the three wires that are in my box. So there's a red one, which is labeled common, C-O-M. There's a white wire, which is labeled NC. And then there's a blue wire labeled NO. So these are your relay wires. So if you look at the, the, the relay here, you can see position, there's an NO, COM, and NC, which correspond to your three wires along the top here. So what I'm gonna do is, because we have, I happen to be using a blue wire, I'm gonna match it up with my blue wire, the normally open NO wire connects in, and then this connects in. All right, and then let's see here. I'm gonna use yellow for the NC wire inside the box. And grab my yellow wire, NC. And then uh, lastly, we'll use the green wire for the common, sending the common. So common to common. All right, so if I outstrip this, because we have 18 millimeter ferrules on these three. All right, so these are ferrules and I can post a link down below where I ordered these from. So. And when you're using, uh, when you're getting wiring for this box to wire it in your system, I use 18 gauge stranded wire, which is just fine for this installation because, oh, emergency. Um, you're not sending any voltage to the generator. You're basically talking millivolts for this box itself. So 18 gauge stranded is more than sufficient for this installation. Cool. All right, so those are in. So this relay box, it goes the bottom side like this. So it goes in like this. And then when I look at here, it shows me normally open, common, and C. So again, from left to right, normally open, common, normally closed. So we're going to start in the same order. Our blue, our blue, normally open. That ferrule is going to go in here. And it's going to push it. Push it all the way. Up. Okay. So, and then the middle is common. So common, we used green for the common wire. And again, if you prefer, you can use the same color coded that I have in my box. If you had a red, blue, and white, make it a little bit easier. And then yellow was our normally closed, which 
goes in here. So once you have these in here, make sure they're not going to come out. Then you can go ahead and plug this in to the bottom of the Servo GX. At this point, since I know I have my positive already connected to my system, if I turn the breaker here, I can get my lights on. So, so far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and close up this box, and then we'll move to the back where the BM Pro is, and we'll show you how that works. Make sure no wires are getting pinched. And again, this opens up. There is a QR code that's put on the back here. Um, I know sometimes it's kind of hard to see, but that was kind of the best place to put it. So you could scan that QR code with your phone and you can see up the wiring instructions and also the instructions on how to adjust these dials. So again, we turn it on, we got lights. So far, so good. We're gonna leave that off for now. Let's go ahead and move to the back and get the BM Pro side taken care of. All right, so here we got our transfer switch in the coach. By the way, this is in the back bathroom at the very back. So next to the toilet is literally right here. So there's a little access panel next to the toilet that you open up, you got your transfer switch, and then you have your BM uh, Pro master node. So basically all of the functions that the BM Pro connects to, connects back into here. So I just happen to know the stop connector here is the wire that we want to kind of tap into from previous work. So sorry, it's a bit of a tight space in here, but so I know that these two top wires here, it is, there's a red and there's this green and then there's this orange wire. These are the three wires that we're going to be touching back here. Let's see the red wire is the start and the green is the stop wire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this red wire, which is our start, and we're gonna use these intercepts here. Now, some people may or may not agree with the use of these, but they function just fine. So let these wire taps just tap in. And then where's my red wire here that we pre-ran back here. These are the same wires that we used up front. Let me just cut this here. All right. And then this slides in here as well. And then we can just crimp this. All right, so the red wire has been tapped into for the start. And then this just clips over there. And now we need to do the same thing for the green wire, which is gonna be our stop signal. I might come down here a little further, kind of stagger this out. And then we have the black wire. Doing the green wire this time, which is going to be our stop signal. And there's my black wire. Now again, I know people may not agree with the use of these taps, but I've used them several times before, and they work great. I haven't had an issue yet. Okay, there we go. So that's all the way in there. So our start, our stop. Now I said we're gonna tap into do something with the orange wire, but I'll show you that here in a second. Let's first test it and make sure the system is gonna work. All right, so first thing we're gonna do before we test, we'll turn this on, make sure the box is, can, is turned on. Because if this is not turned on, it's not gonna work. All right, so we're here at the touch screen. So what we need to do is go to settings. We gotta go down to first relay and then tell it relay one, we want it to be a gen start stop. 
for relay one. So then we can go back here, generator start stop. We should be able to go manual start and have it start up. Yeah, start now. Okay, so generator attempted to start. It did not fully start. And we need to adjust the timing of the relay. So let me go ahead and show you the timing right now. All right, I'm gonna handhold this part, so if it's a little shaky, that's why. But, so we adjust the timing of the relay. So we have relay one, two, three, and four. So this does your stop slash prime signal. This is a wait, this is your start, and this is your stop. So sometimes, depending on colder climate, if you have a diesel, you have an older generator, sometimes you need a longer prime and or start. So in this case, we have the three dials. So this tells you it comes, when you get it from me, it's, these are 10 seconds. This is a percentage of this dial. And then this is the function of the dial, this last one. So do not touch this last dial. So if we wanna just dial this up just a little bit, we go from like 40 to 50. Which, uh, which will be five seconds of prime, because this is 10 seconds and 50%. So that would be five seconds. And then for the start, it comes with hit 50, we're gonna dial that up to try 70. So it'll hold the, do the start for seven seconds. So sometimes you need to prime it a little bit better, and then you need to the longer start. So let's go ahead and see if that works for this generator. All right, so we're still in the gen start stop menu, so let's go ahead and try to start it again. Okay, I heard the relays click. It's doing its prime. Now it's gonna do the start. And now the generator fired up. So gen start stop, working. So let me just see here, because BM Pro, in the past, it freaks out. So see the generator status? On the BM Pro it says fault. So if I try to, what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna stop this. So generator is now stopped. And now this is complaining about short power. But see, generator status is fault. And I believe if we go here to try to start. So now it just, the, the generator here says fault. Um, which you can leave it. It's just gonna say, always say a status of fault. If you were that orange wire, for, if you were to cut that orange wire, it would just stop setting the generator status to it. Now for some, the generator status of fault on the screen. Uh, not that big of a deal, uh, but basically all it does is like if there was an error code, but it was, the error codes would still show up on the generator itself. It's just that you would clear a fault. Sometimes when it shows a fault on the screen, it, you won't be able to start or stop again with the BM Pro. Um, so really it's kind of, you can start it from both places. This one will complain because it's starting outside of its control. So really it's just pick one, and if you're getting faults and you're not able to start with the BM Pro, that orange wire, if you snip it, it just stops sending the status to it, and then the BM Pro doesn't see it as having an issue. So that's one way around it. All right, so thanks for watching, and that's how you install the Generator Auto Start Set Box with a BM Pro system, with a Victron system. Go ahead, get your order, get yours ordered today from a website. The link will be down below. It works, it works great, and it's reliable. Customers are happy with it. Thanks again for watching.